What up, NFL fans? It's your favorite scout, Bucky Brooks. And today, we're going to talk about three young quarterbacks facing make or break seasons. So let's start at the top. We'll go to number three. How about Jalen Hurts? Jalen Hurts is a guy who, look, he led his team to the postseason, but yet there's still some questions about whether Jalen Hurts will be the long-term answer at the position for the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles have two first-round picks in next year's draft, and so now what they're saying to us, hey, we'll give Jalen Hurts another year to see if he can be the starter, but we don't know. If he doesn't play well, we can look to the 2023 quarterback class, and maybe that's our long-term solution. Now, I think this is a little tricky because Jalen Hurts has played really well for the Eagles. We saw what he's been able to do with his legs, but maybe, just maybe, the Eagles want a little more. That's why I say make or break season for Jalen Hurts. At two, Daniel Jones, it's, it's not really his fault, but Daniel Jones has been thrust in a bad situation with the New York Giants. Cur coaching changes, you had a change in, in management in terms of David Gettleman retiring, Joe Shane coming in. And because Joe Shane and Brian Dable are not married to Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones has to show this year that he's a franchise quarterback and worthy of a hefty extension. When you look at this Giants team, they have Saquon Barkley in the backfield. Joe Shane and this crew, they'll do, do a good job of upgrading the offensive line and maybe adding another playmaker or two. But right now, it is situation critical for Daniel Jones. He has shown flashes of being a special player. We've seen the arm talent. We've seen the athleticism. But we also have seen the turnover woes. If he doesn't correct the turnovers, somebody else could be the quarterback for the Giants next season. But the guy facing the most pressure at quarterback, it used to be Tank for Tua in Miami. But now that they had Tua, there's some doubts about whether Tua is really everything that they thought he was going to be. Well, this offseason, the Dolphins have spared no expense to surround Tua Tagovailoa with talent. We have Tyreek Hill coming over to join Jalen Waddle. You have Taron Armstead playing on the edge. You have Mike Gesicki at tight end still, soon to be re-signed to a blockbuster deal. All of the weapons are in place, and I can't even forget about Mike McDaniel coming over to direct this offense. If Tua Tungvaloa can't get it done this year, the Miami Dolphins are going to go hunting for another quarterback. So, so the pressure is on. The Dolphins want Tua Tungvaloa to be the guy. He has to show them that he's worthy. If not, somebody else will be anchoring the Dolphins offense because they need a quarterback. So there you have it. Three quarterbacks facing make or break seasons. Make sure you keep coming back to Fox Sports Digital for your NFL content. I'm Bucky Brooks. Make sure you tune in next time.